This edition of the 2017 National Healthcare Safety Network or NHSN Quick Learn series focuses on clinical document architecture or CDA files and how to upload them into NHSN for reporting purposes. CDA is a health level seven standard that provides a framework for electronic documents for the purpose of exchange between two systems. It provides facilities with a standardized way to package and upload data into NHSN. The NHSN application supports CDA import of certain healthcare associated infections, antimicrobial use and resistance data, hemovigilance data, and outpatient dialysis data, including events, denominator, and process of care measures. CDA files are not the same as CSV or Excel files and are quite complex, as shown in this screenshot. Because of the complexities of developing and maintaining CDA files, most facilities work with a CDA vendor to create them. Here are a few things to keep in mind about uploading CDA files into NHSN. In order to import the majority of CDA file types, NHSN users must have administrator rights. Users that will only be uploading files for the antimicrobial use and resistance module can either have administrator rights or customized rights. You can find more details about user rights in the NHSN user rights document at the link on this slide. Each individual CDA file contains information for a specific event or summary denominator for a single facility. Additionally, all CDA files must be submitted within a zip file. A single zip file can contain one or many individual CDA files. In order to successfully import into NHSN, the zip files must be less than two megabytes in size or contain less than 1000 individual CDA files, whichever comes first. In order to upload CDA files, each facility must first have an OID or object identifier. The OID is a unique facility identifier assigned to each individual NHSN facility. This way, NHSN will know which facility you are submitting CDA data for and not confuse it with any other facility in the system. To obtain an OID for your facility, refer to the OID request process outlined on the CDA Submission Support Portal, or CSSP. The link to the portal is listed on this slide. This CSSP page also contains instructions on how to add or find your OID in the NHSN system. The next step for ensuring a successful CDA upload is to add the monthly reporting plan. Monthly reporting plans must be added manually by navigating to the monthly reporting plan section on the left-hand navigation bar within your NHSN facility. From the left-hand navigation bar, click Reporting Plan, then click Add. Select the month and year for the new reporting plan. In order to upload CDA files, you will need to add each location and event or summary type to the reporting plan. The screenshot on this slide shows a reporting plan for the submission of antimicrobial use data into NHSN. Each location is listed separately in its own row with the antimicrobial use box checked. NHSN will not accept any CDA files for locations, events, or summary types that are not listed in the monthly reporting plan. There are two ways to upload CDA files into NHSN, manual upload using the import export data screen and automatic upload from a vendor or IT solutions using the direct CDA automation screen. In this quick learn, we will discuss how to manually upload CDA files into NHSN. For more information on direct CDA automation, visit the CSSP website listed on this slide. Now that your facility has its own OID and you have created a monthly reporting plan for the data you're uploading, 
you are officially ready to upload your CDA files into NHSN. As described earlier, there are specific NHSN event and summary file types that can be imported via CDA. Refer to the CSSP page for the complete list. For this example, we will be uploading a CDA file for the NHSN Antimicrobial Use AU option. Let's walk through the steps together. After logging into NHSN, select the Import Export tab on the navigation bar. You may notice there are two options for CDA file upload, Event Summary Data Procedure Denominators and SSI Events. For our example, we will select event summary data and procedure denominators since AU data are considered summary data. Click on events summary data procedure denominators. You'll see a screen that's ready for a CDA file. Click the browse button and locate the zipped CDA file you want to upload. After selecting the zip file, click open. When the file name is showing in the box, click Submit. You'll see a progress window as NHSN validates your CDA zip file. After the file has been validated, a records process table toward the top of the screen shows you the number of records in the zip file and the number of records that passed validation. If you were resubmitting previously imported records, the number of records that are considered updates is also shown in this table. In our example, you can see one summary data record was uploaded and this record passed validation. Below the records process table is the validation results table. To see the results, click on the appropriate tab on the table. Because we uploaded an AU file, which is considered summary data, we will click on the Summary Data tab to review the details of our upload. This table will give more specific information regarding the uploaded file, including the specific data type, month, year, location, set ID, and upload status. At this point, the files have only passed the initial NHSN validation, and the data have not yet been uploaded into the NHSN database. You must continue with the submission process to ensure your data are uploaded into NHSN. Since no errors were found in the file we uploaded, the Submit button at the bottom of the page is enabled and the Error Report button is grayed out or disabled. If your CDA file did not pass this step of submission, the Error Report button would be enabled and the Submit button would be disabled. Because our CDA file passed this first step in submission, we can click the Submit button to upload the file into the NHSN database. Congratulations! You can now see the results pop-up window with a large green check mark, followed by a statement that your file was successfully imported. A PDF report containing the details of the upload process is available after every upload. We highly recommend you print or save this report for your records as documentation of when data were uploaded into NHSN. Now that you have seen what a successful CDA file import looks like, let's talk about what happens if your file does not pass the initial NHSN validation and an error report is produced. Here is an example of the NHSN screen when an error occurs. You can see that one record was uploaded, but it did not pass validation. If your file does not pass validation, you will see the error report button is enabled and the submit button is disabled. Click on the error report button to display the PDF error report. The error report will give a detailed line listing for any record that failed validation and therefore cannot be imported into NHSN. For this example, the submitted document failed validation because that location was not included in the AU section reporting plan for March 2015. Remember, NHSN 
will not accept any CDA files for locations, events, or summary types that aren't listed in the monthly reporting plan. In the event that some of the CDA files in your zip file passed and others failed, both the error report and submit buttons will be enabled. Clicking submit will only submit the files that passed validation. The files that failed will need to be fixed and resubmitted. We recommend working with your CDA vendor to fix any errors in your CDA file. You can also email the CDA Help Desk at nhsncda at cdc.gov if you have any questions after working with your vendor. We have many NHSN CDA resources as shown on this slide. The CDA Submission Support Portal contains many great resources for facilities and vendors interested in learning more about CDA. You can find everything from getting started with CDA to CDA FAQs to technical CDA file specifications and more. If you can't find the answers to your questions on the CSSP site, email us directly. For NHSN protocol or data submission questions, email nhsn at cdc.gov. For technical CDA related questions, email nhsncda at cdc.gov. Thank you for taking the time to watch this NHSN Quick Learn. We hope it helps you as you begin your journey of uploading CDA files into your NHSN facility.